Hello, friends. Happy new moon. This new moon's happening tomorrow, Tuesday at 11.23 a.m. Mountain Time in the States. Of course, adjust for wherever you are in the world. I want to talk a bit about the characteristics of this new moon, and then I'm going to guide you through an energy clearing, centering, and intention setting process. This new moon is all about bringing your attention intentions into the heart center for that power to bring them out into the world. So this new moon happens in the fiery sign of Aries. And it happens at the zero degree point of Aries. This is a key point in astrology, the zero degree point of Aries, because it's the threshold from crossing over from Pisces, the last sign of the Zodiac, which represents the energy of all that is and unity consciousness. And when we cross into Aries, Aries is the sign of the I am, the individual. This is me coming into being. So it's like this birthing moment, that zero degree Aries point. And that's where this new moon happens. So that's the first thing that makes it very powerful with this startup, fiery, courageous, loud, expressive, here I am energy. Then this new moon also conjuncts Venus. Venus represents the heart center. So this is where I'm going to invite you to drop into that portal of energy that is your heart. And in fact, let's do that right now. Take a moment and feel your breath dropping in, feel your seat on your seat, and just become aware of the portal of your heart space. And bringing your attention there, just allowing the breath to flow and allowing the breath to flow as if it could flow in and out through the space of the heart, energetically opening up that space to receive and give love. And continuing that breathing for just a moment, continuing the awareness of the heart space, feel yourself grounded in the present here. And I'm gonna talk just a bit about two more aspects of this new moon. It's in a sextile with Pluto. Pluto represents, Pluto is the Lord of the underworld, representing the shadow, the depths. Pluto holds mm, realms of things related to power and sexuality and deep, deep healing places. Pluto right now, by the way, is at the final degree of Capricorn, just about to move into Aquarius, which is a huge collective change. So he's at that final mastery degree. Pluto's at 29 degrees, just about to cross into Aquarius, where he'll retrograde back and forth a bit, but he'll be in Aquarius for uh, the next couple of decades. It's a long-term thing. So this is a massive shift we're going to feel right now. And with this new moon happening at the same time, he's just about to cross uh, we've got the power of all that's going on with Pluto wrapped in. And the Pluto right now is in a sextile with this new moon. The sextile represents a productive working relationship. Again, Pluto is all about personal power. So there is a connection to the depths, a connection to the stuff that might feel scary, might feel intense. If you can be willing to be with, to presence, to own whatever stuff may be asking your attention right now and lovingly hold space for it, all of that energy is in a productive working relationship with the powerful forward moving energy of this new moon. Lastly, this new moon is also in a loose conjunction with Neptune, which represents our connection to spirit our connection to the divine, our ability to manifest. So there is enormous manifestation, creative power folded into this new moon. And I'm gonna suggest that the pathway in is through the heart, through the heart and through the allowing of whatever from the depths needs to rise and move 
in order for you to fully be open to giving and receiving love. So once again, I'm going to invite you to, in this moment, you can close your eyes if you like, or just let them be soft and easy and resting on something that feels easy, safe, and good, or letting your eyes orient briefly to your space. And take a moment again just to ground into this moment by feeling your seat on the seat. And without directing or changing it, just notice what your breath is doing. Allow the next couple breaths to drop in easily, beautifully, feeling the energy fill the lungs. And once again, feeling that energy in the heart center. If you like, you can connect a hand to the chest, to the heart center, and feel that connection to the portal of your heart right now. Feel that connection as the breath continues to flow. And I'll invite you in this moment to notice first what depths are asking to come into your conscious awareness what's asking to be seen, what's asking to be presenced, what's asking to be known. And this is a question not so much for the mind, but for the heart and for your deeper and higher consciousness. I'll invite you to take just a moment here and notice, feel, and be open to what feelings, sensations, awarenesses, that might feel heavy, that might feel intense, are asking for you to allow them to be present now. And just let that be, if there's any emotion, if there's any sensation, allow that to be present, allow it to move. And breathing into all this energy, once again, calling on the energy of the heart space, and noticing that any kind of creation involves both that masculine outer directed energy and the feminine deep receptivity. And in this new moon, we're inviting the heart space represented by Venus in conjunction with the new moon in Aries, the very masculine driven I am. So allowing in this moment your intention for what you're called to next create. Allowing that to drop into your awareness with ease. And if you don't fully know, know that there's a part of you that does know. Calling on that part. And breathing into that heart energy, I'll invite you to take a deep breath in. And then send that energy, send that consciousness of you out into the world, intending that your creations be so beautifully, so gracefully, so lovingly born into manifestation with the energy of this new moon. Sealing that in with the last couple of breaths, and once again, feeling the heart, feeling the seat on the chair, feeling the physical body in the here and now, knowing your power, knowing who you are. Sending you so much love as we move through this beautiful, powerful healing new moon. Like and subscribe if this was helpful, and I will see you soon. Take care.